Welcome to the MPS 3ND installation video. First, open the disposable kit by peeling off the Tyvex lid. Remove and set aside sterile packages containing arrest and additive cartridges. Remove heat exchanger from package and prepare for installation. Ensure the blood crystalloid cassette is facing forward without any of the lines being twisted. The word blood should be on the lower left and the word crist should be on the lower right of the cassette. Set the vent line on top of console. Then set the blood source line aside on the left and the crystalloid line on the right. With red caps on, slightly insert top heat exchanger water line into top opening just above locking knob. Then slightly insert bottom heat exchanger water line into lower opening just below locking knob. Alternate feeding each water line a short distance until water lines emerge from back of console. Remove red caps. Ready to connect to heater cooler. Select the heat exchanger to the locking block by turning locking knob in a clockwise motion until locked in place. Install and secure the blood crystalloid cassette by firmly seating the cassette over the two bottom pins and two door latches. Then route the blood and crystalloid inlet tubing through the tubing guides located on the left and right side of the console inside the door. Ensure cassette edges do not fold over on itself. With the door handle parallel to the ground, close console door by latching the cam fittings to the door latches. Check large bore lure connection of the blood source line and connect blood source line to the oxygenator. Next, route the cardioplegia delivery line into the air in line sensor and through the anti-grade delivery valve by depressing manual valve button completely. Without twisting or kinking the tubing, feed the tubing all the way to back wall of the valve and release the manual valve button. Route the vent line through the vent valve by depressing the manual valve completely. Without twisting or kinking the tubing, feed the tubing all the way to back wall of valve and release the manual valve button. Connect vent line to the cardiotomy reservoir on the heart-lung machine circuit. If using crystalloid cardioplegia, connect the crystalloid source line to large bore lure on the right side of cassette. Route tubing into the tubing guides and set IV spike aside. Next, pick up sterile package containing the green additive cartridge. With the angled seal in hand, slowly peel open. Take cartridge out of packaging while maintaining sterility. Pick up green stopcock additive delivery line. Remove cap and attach standard lure fitting to additive cartridge. In a counterclockwise motion, unscrew and remove plunger end of the cartridge and set plunger aside. Align additive cartridge into green additive key and turn clockwise until the cartridge clicks into place. Green milliliter markers should be front facing. Pick up other end of additive delivery line and attach to the check valve fitting at the lower left port of the heat exchanger. Next, pick up sterile packaging containing the yellow arrest cartridge. With angled seal in hand, slowly peel open. Take cartridge out of packaging while maintaining sterility. Pick up yellow stock cop delivery line. Remove cap and attach non-standard patented lure fitting to arrest cartridge. In a counterclockwise motion, unscrew and remove plunger end of cartridge and set the plunger aside. Align a rest cartridge into yellow arrest key and turn clockwise until the cartridge clicks into place. Yellow milliliter markers should be front facing. Pick up the other end of a rest delivery line and attach to the check valve fitting at the lower right port of the heat exchanger. Finally, hand the sterile package containing the sterile delivery line extension to the CV nurse. The CV nurse will open the delivery line to the sterile field.